cops say he was in the bar. The owner says he wasn't. But what is not being disputed is the fact that he's a gangster. He was intoxicated and he was armed. The arrest happened on Bernard, where the 28-year-old suspect was, according to police, waiting for someone to come out of this bar after getting into an altercation. The person uh, was later seen outside of the establishment and the persons, uh, the witnesses also saw this or part of this what is believed to be a handgun uh, protruding from his belt line or from his pants. But the owner of Doc Willoughby says the suspect was never in his establishment. He was not in our business and uh, to my knowledge he was just on the outside of our patio and uh, he seemed to be kind of out of it. I think he might have been a bit confused. Um, there was nobody in the establishment that uh, was concerned about him waiting for them outside. What's not being disputed is the fact the suspect was armed with a gun, a big handgun, a 45 caliber semi-automatic. So this is a 45 caliber handgun. One of the reasons why gangsters like this gun is because it's probably the biggest bad boy you can find on the street. RCMP say that despite the fact the suspect is a gangster from Edmonton with a lengthy criminal record, there is no link with last weekend shooting in front of the Delta Grand that took the life of Red Scorpion gangster Jonathan Bacon. At this point in the investigation, we have found no link whatsoever to what had occurred last week here. The firepower of a 45 caliber gun now obvious. What's not so obvious is what gang this man belongs to. What was he doing in Kelowna? Who was he waiting for outside of Doc Willoughby's? But most importantly, what was he going to do with the gun? In Kelowna, Kelly Hayes, Castanet Media.